When Xcode builds an iOS project, it puts your compiled program, your info.plist file, your asset catalog, and any other assets into a single directory called a bundle, then gives that bundle the name yourAppName.app. This .app extension is automatically recognized by iOS and Apple's other platforms, which is why if you double-click something like notes.app or macOS, it knows to launch the program inside the bundle. In our game, we're going to include a file called start.txt, which includes over 10,000 eight-letter words that will be randomly selected for the player to work with. This was included in the files for this project that you should have downloaded from GitHub, so please drag start.txt into your project now. We already defined a property called root word, which will contain the word we want the player to spell from. What we need to do now is write a new method called start game that will first find start.txt in our bundle, second, load it into a string, third, split that string into an array of strings with each element being one word, and fourth, pick one random word from there to be assigned to root word, or use a sensible default if the array is empty. Each of those four tasks corresponds to one line of code, but there's a twist. What if we can't locate start.txt in our app bundle? Or if we can locate it, but we can't load it? In that case, we have a serious problem because our app is really broken. Either we forgot to include the file somehow, in which case our game won't work, or we included it, but for some reason iOS refused to let us read it, in which case our game won't work and our app is broken. Regardless of what caused it, this is a situation that never ought to happen, and Swift gives us a function called fatal error that lets us detect problems really clearly. When we call fatal error, it will, unconditionally and always, cause our app to crash. It'll just die. Not might die or maybe die, it will always just terminate straight away. Now I realize that sounds bad, but what it lets us do is important. For problems like this one, such as if we forget to include a file in our project, there is no point trying to make our app struggle on in a broken state. It's much better to terminate immediately and give us a clear explanation of what went wrong so we can correct the problem. And that's exactly what fatal error does. Anyway, let's take a look at the code. Funk start game. So in here, first we'll find the URL for start.txt in our app bundle by saying if let start words URL equals bundle dot main dot url for resource start with extension txt. Now you can load start.txt into a string by saying if let start words equals try question mark string contents of start words url. Now we can split that string up into an array of strings looking for line breaks. Let all words equals start words dot components separated by backslash n. Now we'll pick one random word or use silkworm as sensible default. Root word equals all words dot random element nil coalescing silkworm. And if we're here, everything's worked, so we can exit. Return. Now if we're here, then there is a problem. We should trigger a crash and report the error. We'll say fatal error could not load start.txt from bundle. Now that we have a method to load everything, we need to actually call that thing when our view is shown. SwiftUI gives us a dedicated view modifier for running a closure when a view is shown. So we can use that to call start game and get things moving. Add this modifier after navigation bar title. Dot on appear, perform start game. If you're in the game now, you should see a random eight letter word at the top of the navigation view. It doesn't really mean anything yet because players can still enter whatever words they want. Let's fix that next. 